hello welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is chloe and i sell things on ebay to earn a living or at least i try to um but we won't talk about that right now this is a very impromptu video so the lighting is absolutely terrible i do apologize for that um but i have just been cleaning up some of my old like stock area where i used to keep all my stock and i have just found loads of like stock just sitting there that should not be sitting there so this video is like your sign to go and check your stockpile and to deal with it because that's what i'm about to do money is quite tight at the minute with the whole cost of living and christmas coming up so we haven't been outsourcing so i'm sourcing from my old stock and it's actually made me realize that i've just dumped a load of stuff and left it so i'm just going to show you what things that i've found it's a little embarrassing um there's not a huge amount there and this is going to be a very quick video but it is literally i'm posting this purely for like a kick up the bum for anybody that needs it to go and look at your stockpile and deal with it because the i need that kick up the bum myself sometimes so i'm here giving you that boot up the bum uh, so I'm just going to quickly show you what I found. Um, also, we're going to ignore the state of the face because I've had an absolutely awful cold and my skin has not appreciated it, apparently. And like I said, it's an impromptu video. I wasn't planning on filming. I just got my camera out and filmed, so I didn't even bother making myself look presentable. Um, so first thing I found was this pair of penguin swim shorts. Um, I think I've had these like listed at some point, to be fair. I thought they were newer tags, but I can't see. Oh yeah, they are newer tags. Now these were bought in like a bundle. The lighting is really bad, so you're not gonna be able to see the color. They're like a peach color, I think. These were bought in like a wholesale bundle. I haven't bought wholesale for like coming close to two years now. So that's how long these have been sat around. They were listed at some point, then I took them down because I didn't know where they were. I didn't know where I put them. They were on my old stock rail. So yeah, men's swim shorts, brand new with tags. Just sat there, just sat there doing nothing. Not being listed, just nothing. Then we've got this gorgeous number. This is like a long, thin jacket, like a beige tan jacket. It's open front and it's by the brand. <laughs> I've never sold this brand before, but I think it's good. And this was bought a while ago. I bought this like at least six months ago, if not longer. It's by the brand, oh, the lighting is so bad. I'm really sorry. Um, never fully dressed. I hope you can see it. I'm really sorry if you can't. As you can see, I spent 6 99 on it. Okay, it doesn't say when I bought it, but yeah, it's size large. It's really, really nice. It's like floor length almost. And I think never fully dressed is okay, but it was just sitting there doing nothing. This I have sold before and it was a return because it didn't fit. And because I couldn't be bothered to deal with it, it's just sat there. This is a Spanx new with tags, like full body suit thing. This would be perfect for this season. Like people going to Christmas parties and having like Christmas dresses. Like that's a thumbnail in it. That's a thumbnail. Um, but yeah, going to like Christmas parties and stuff, like it is perfect. And this was also wholesale. Um, but it's like, I think the reason it got returned is because it didn't fit, because obviously cup sizes and that. But yeah, these, this is worth quite a lot. Spanx bodysuits, brand new with tags. Like, it's just sitting there because it was returned and I didn't do anything with it. This I've had, not even gonna lie, two years, two years. Because when I bought it, I forgot to list it at Christmas. Then last year, I forgot I had it. So it's been two years because I wanted to list it at Christmas time. I've probably missed the boat now. I might try and get it on today or tomorrow. See if I can maybe stick it on vintage or something for cheap and try and get rid of it. Um, this is a next Christmas pudding dress. But brand new with tags. Not worth a whole lot. I think it was £22 brand new. And I paid £2.50 for it. So I can't really moan. But it's been sat on my rail for two years. It needs to go. So I'm going to get that listed hopefully today or tomorrow and try and get it shifted. Uh, this, I think, I don't know how long I've had this. I don't know whether it's a bit shrunk. I need to measure it. It feels, 
Um, let's try it really flattering angle there, Clay. Um, it does feel a bit, it feels like the fibres are a bit tight. Uh, this is Jules. It's in a size 8, but it just feels a bit, I'm not sure. I'll measure it. Um, I don't know why I'm talking really, really quick. I got no idea. I've, I've had two coffees this morning, so that might be why. I do apologise if this is your first time watching my videos. I'm not usually this hectic. My lighting's usually a bit better. I usually look a bit better. It's just one of them days. Um, so yeah, it's one of those... It's one of those jumpers from Jules. Uh, Jules doesn't really sell well for me anymore, but these jumpers always go really well. And that is so hecking cute, isn't it? I love that. But yeah, that needs to go on. Then we've got a, a classic Marks and Spennies. That is plum purple, but I've got no idea what colour it's showing for you. Um, Marks and Spencers, maybe Peruna. I, I do not know. No, Marks and Spencers, size 16, plum purple corduroy skirt. Like, this should have gone on in, like, September, realistically. But there's still plenty of time for that. I'm not too worried about that. That'll always sell. And this, a few things I will have shown you before. Um, and you may recognise them. This is absolutely flipping gorgeous. This is Gudrun Sojourn. I may have said that wrong. If I have, I apologise. But it is what it is. <laughs> There's the label. XL, absolutely beautiful little cropped cardigan. Now, there is a floor in this somewhere. I can't remember where exactly right now, but I know there's a floor somewhere. There's a little hole. And I was going to go and get it repaired. Have I? No. I've had this for like well over a year. It's been sat on my rail. I've not been asked to get it repaired. It was £3.25, so I'm listing it. I'm listing it with its floor, and I'm getting some money for it because somebody would have bought it by now and gone and repaired it themselves or repaired it themselves. Like... I'm sat there thinking, oh, I can get more money for it if I get it repaired. But you haven't got it repaired, Chloe. So, <laughs> sell it, sell it. Stop holding on to it. So that's going. This is another example of something that I haven't bothered to get repaired. This is a brand that I have only picked up this once. This is H Hano, I think is how you pronounce it. Uh, this is a good designer brand, to be fair. And this has got, again, some... Ah, uh, here. It's got a little bit of... It needs a few stitches. It's not the end of the world, but it needs a little bit of a repair. It cost us £3. This nice, like, tunicky, long blouse. And I've been waiting and waiting to go and get it repaired at the same time as that good run. Have I? No. It came from the same haul, so over a year ago, and it's been sat there not getting repaired. Somebody else would have bought it and repaired it by now. If I know I'm not going to be bothered to repair it, either number one, don't buy it. I mean, these two items I didn't realise that needed repairs. Or number two, just list them with their flaws because I'm obviously not going to get it repaired, am I? I haven't got around to it. I've got a memory like a sieve. I put it on the rail. I left it. So I'm just going to list them with their flaws and someone else can deal with it. They'll get a bargain and then they can go and repair it. Or do it themselves. I'm way too, I'm way too blind to be able to repair these are David Nieper trousers, just sat there. Like, these are like nice summer trousers and they're just sat there. They could have sold over summer. These were £5.95. They're white David Nieper trousers and they're in a size 14, I think. It says 14 on the tag. And they're just sat on the rail. It's just not selling. That's like a good, what, 20, 25 pound pair of trousers there. These are by the brand Morella. There you go. Again, a nice white pair of uh, trousers. Little turn-ups. Perfect summer trousers. <laughs> Just that on the rail. Those were in a size 10 and they were £5. And again, I think I've had them for like over a year. Over a year. I can't remember buying them, so it's over a year. That I've just had them sat there because I don't look at this rail because it's not the rail that we use, it's the rail that we used to use. We have two rails. We have one in the kitchen that we put stuff on, basically in, it goes in out like a little conveyor belt. And then we have old one that we used to use that's out in the hallway, out of sight, out of mind, that obviously I've just plonked stuff on randomly as like an overflow and then forgot about it. And it's just, I've just left it, I've not dealt with it. 
Uh, these are Marks and Spencers. I did buy these for me, I think, but I don't think they fit me. I can't remember. I don't think they fit me. Um, they were five pounds, size 14, but a vintage 14. So yeah, they didn't fit me. How beautiful are they? They are wool. Marks and Spencers trousers, little turn ups. So they're more of a 12. Um, they cost five pounds. They are absolutely beautiful. They would have been gorgeous for autumn, but they'll still sell in the winter. And then we have a pair of Robels, classic Robels. These are Robel Rose, £4.95. Just little blue, blue or black, I think they're blue. Little jeggings. Yeah, £4.95 in a size, uh, doesn't say. I'll have to measure them because they've been cut out. We've got Hobbs. Oops, I'll just drop that. This is in a size 8. And it's £8, so I'm not really sure what I was thinking, paying £8 on a size 8 Hobbs dress. But, you know, it's leopard print. Maybe that's what I was thinking. Has it got pockets? Has that got a pocket? No, I don't think it has. Um, but it's it's nice. It's cute. But it's not doing anything to sat out there, is it? Does it have any wool in it? Can I see? That is always the question. I ask myself that so many times a day. Can I see that? Am I going to be able to see that? No, it has no wool in it. It's just polyester. Polyester and viscose. And I paid £8, but, you know, she's cute. She's cute. And then, please ignore the fact that I'm stiffed and bunged up. Like I said, I'm full of cold. It is what it is. Obviously, I'm full of cold on the run-up to Christmas. It, it's typical. Um, this is Hobbs again. This is an old Hobbs. Paid four ninety nine. This is a linen dress. I wouldn't pick this up now. This is probably picked up over a year ago. But yeah, these don't tend to go very well. I don't think anymore. I mean, maybe, maybe they do. I, I don't know. But I just personally wouldn't pick this up anymore. Um, I think it's a bit dated. But yeah, paid four ninety nine, and it's in a size twelve. But it looks very, looks very small for a twelve. So I'd say it's probably a ten. And then this is the one that I kicked myself for. Look at this, Sahara. Sahara, just sitting out there. Like, just sitting out there, chilling. And I paid £7. I'm pretty sure it's a newer Sahara label as well. Look at that. And it's just sat out there, just hanging around. It doesn't look very Sahara-y to me. I don't know whether it's the colour that's throwing me off, because the fit is quite Sahara. But, I don't know, the colour's just throwing me off. But yeah, just sat there doing nothing. And then we've got Kim & Co, brand new with tags. Bit of Kimmy, brand new with tags, Kimmy. With these fancy ass buttons. And that was, does not have a price. Yeah, it does, yeah, it does. £4.50 in a medium too large. Kim & Co does all right for me, to be fair. I think people like it because you don't have to iron it. Like, it can be screwed up in a ball and the creases just drop out. Look at this Hagrid hair. I've just realised how bad that is. I took the kids to school like this this morning. Because I wore it in French plaits last night. And then the final thing, would you believe it? This has been sat out there. Sat out there. Ignored. Is this bad boy. Now, I don't like dealing with men's suits. So, this is probably why it's been sat out there. But look at this, a YSL suit. I'm just sat out there, just chilling, sat out there. This is gorgeous blue suit. I don't know whether it's any good to be fair because I don't sell suits, but you know, it's definitely not gonna be any good sat out there, is it? It's got all through the, all through the band, sorry. Wool and, oh. Trevera. Now I should really know what Trevera is, but do I? Do I heck? Yeah, that's what size are we? What size are we? Oh, I've got such a runny nose. I'm so sorry. It doesn't say because obviously it's a made to measure, so I'm gonna have to do some uh, serious measuring. But it's beautiful, it's in gorgeous condition, it's crispy. Not crispy as in like gross, but like crispy as in like fresh crispy and it's weighty and it's just been chilling out there someone wants to treat themselves to a nice posh 
suit I could have provided. But no, lo and behold, it sat out there as a lovely little decoration to my hallway. So yeah, that is everything that was just sat out there, not been listed. Please, please, if you have a, a to be listed pile, death pile, money pile, stock pile, whatever you want to call it, if you have stuff that is not listed and you have been ignoring and pottering outsourcing because it's more fun, let's be real, it is more fun, it's more exciting, look at the dregs that you've got because you could be sitting on like so much money and just either forgetting, like, forgetting about it or I don't want to list it because it's boring and it's like not fun. If that's the case and you don't want to list it because you think it's dull, it's boring, it's lost your interest now, mix it in with new stuff like maybe add like one or two a day and mix it in with the new stuff that you've got like don't ignore it because how much money is now sat on my living room floor that i've got to go through like i'm kicking myself and that's not even half of it i've got what boxes out there i've got boxes full of stuff that i need to go through and list that i haven't done because out of sight out of mind so yeah get get your act together only if you need to obviously there's loads of people probably watching this that have got their act together but if you need this pep talk then you're welcome get your act together go and sort your shit out and list it because if it ain't listed it ain't selling and i need to re-watch this video myself because i need to take on this advice clearly i need to take on my own advice because well, you've just seen all that, haven't you? I don't even need, we don't, yeah. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you found this video even slightly helpful, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it helps out my channel. And over half of you guys that watch my videos are not subscribed. Why the devil not? If you do like my videos, do consider subscribing and I will see you in my next video. Bye everybody.